Yes. Igor, I've got a situation here. I need to see you right away. Rizik, I'd love to, but I'm out of town right now. I'll call you as soon as I get back or even come over. Okay, I get it. So I won't give you the baby? I don't believe in your remorse. You can come back with the police if you want. Goodbye. Aha. Uh -huh. Mom, what are you doing? It's her baby. Look, she might actually come back with the police. She won't. Not now. So what's going on? Can you explain? I'll explain everything, but later, have you packed the children's things? Please pack. Find a big bag. I have to leave. Where to? Where to? I'll explain everything to you. Everything will be fine. Please don't stand there. Help me. Grandma, come on, come on. I'll help you. Anyway, I'll tell you something you won't believe. Do you know who was just here? Hello? Hi, Logic. It's me. Oh, hey, brother. It took you long enough to get up the nerve. You saw that I noticed you, right? I can't hide from you. Will you come? I'm on my way. Pasha, it's like 25 years ago, you're hiding in my country house, the grill is burning, it's like deja vu. You know, I thought about it too, but somehow my feet brought me here. I never would have thought to look for you here, unless Lara figured it out. She can see right through you, did you call her? Yeah, she's on her way here. So why are we sitting here? Let's have another round before she gets here. You know what we should drink to, that all your problems will be solved. Thanks, Ola. Somehow everything got out of control. I had to wait somewhere to think. Don't worry about it, Pasha. This is certainly not my business. I will not ask unnecessary questions. Is there a woman involved? And more than one. Of course it's the women's fault. Hello, boys. Hello. Ola, thank you for your hospitality. Pasha, get ready. Let's go. I am in a hurry. Thanks, Ola. Lara, Veronica came to see you. I took her to your office, and she's not alone. Lara, where can I put the used diaper? Nika, who is this? Meet your nephew. Isn't he cute? Nephew? Don't look at me like that. I'm not crazy. Do you want to hold him? No. Well, then listen. Aliona gave birth. Pasha disappeared. No husband. No money. Where to put the baby? The right thing is to drop it off. Wait. I don't get it. What do you mean? How do you mean drop off? Larissa, I'll tell you about it later. Today she came to me. She repented. She wanted to take the child. I didn't give it to her and I won't give it to her. I don't know how I'll do it yet. So I brought it to you. I was afraid she might steal it. Will you help me? I'll help you, but how? Lari Sam. Will you help me? Yeah, it's just Nika. A nephew is unexpected. Yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so bottles, formula, diapers. I brought everything. He doesn't take a pacifier. He's just a baby, please. 
I just need a few days to figure something out, all right, you'll be fine. Be careful, keep an eye on him all the time, call me if you need anything. Hey. We're gonna take a picture of you and I and send it to our dad. So I have your son. Well, he won't take a pacifier. Look how proud he is. Andre, sorry it's late, but it's very important. I need to make inquiries about one person. I think he's connected to Alyona. It's Igor Semyonov. Wait, you know Alyona? Yeah, I've had the pleasure of meeting her. She's my baby's mom. Okay. You're not surprised. I just found out. I couldn't figure out how to tell you. Well, you don't have to. Andre. I need to find out everything I can about him. I think you're overestimating my abilities. You need a detective, not a lawyer. Please let us try. Okay. Let's go over the introductions. Though, Semyon Avigor Petrovich, 42 years old, worked as a swimming coach. We met him in the pool. The address of the pool and home address I'll send you. You came quickly. Well, hold the air, Daddy. Careful. Oh, easy. Easy. That's it. Looks like me. How? Of course. What do you mean? The baby's a week old. He doesn't look like anybody. Come on. Admire it and hurry up and get back. We don't want you getting spotted here. I hope you didn't let the cab go. Good afternoon. I am a former client of yours. I had personal training with Strobitskaya. I would like to return to her. Unfortunately, Strobitskaya is not working right now. That's a shame. But I can offer you other specialists. No, thank you. Others are not interested. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I've been waiting for your call. Any luck? So it's his company and it's registered in Cyprus. Okay, thanks a lot, buddy. I owe you one. I was gonna have coffee with you, but I think you've had enough. Uh -huh. Tough case? Not really, but I'm working hard. What's all this about divorce and property division? Well, let me help you. No need. I don't think it was about paternity. Paternity determination. The usual blood type determination in this case. No, that's different. Okay. If you don't need any help, I'm going home. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. You can't have a kid with a type 1 parent with a type 3. And we had just such a boy.
Why did you come to say goodbye before Poland? It won't work. Grandma's home. Katia, stop it. Do you want some? I want to. What did Desha find out? This kid is my brother, you know. Holy shit. So it turns out we're not giving him to the orphanage anymore. Why would we do that? I'm sorry I didn't think you'd react this way. If I'd known, I wouldn't have brought it up. I was going to marry him. What? I was going to start a relationship with him. Why didn't you? Pasha wouldn't let me. Apparently he thought he was the only one who had the right to leave the family. So the beneficiary of our company is Igor Semyonov and everything that happened, this deal, the debts, it's all his work. Yes. The main question is why Semenov is hardly interested in Pavel's business as it turns out. It's more important than him. I don't understand. Then we need to find out. Nina, feed the baby. I'm off to a client meeting, Pasha. I can't right now. Well, Laura, I won't be long. You wrote yourself that there is news from Nika. She found out something and suspended the sale of the company. She told me the details later. What did you decide? Well, I'll get back to her when we know the details. Veronica's changed a lot. Well, she's got a kid now. She'll forgive me. I know it. And if she doesn't... Pasha, what's that noise? Where are you now? I'm sorry. Is Nina around? Tell her to call me. What? Nina, Pasha? Why are you drunk? Hello? I told you not to go out. Hello, Pasha? Yes, we've seen Pavel Sargevic. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, honey, I've been really busy, couldn't get out to see you, any news? What kind of news? My husband, the baby or the company? I'm worried about you, tell me everything. Nothing is known about Pasha. The mother came for the boy. I didn't give him away, but I almost gave the company to the creditors. Oh, Rizik. Enough? Igor, I know everything. I know you set up Pasha and you stall Lena. I know whose baby it is. I even know I'm giving you the company now. I just don't understand why. Because I love you and I've loved you all these years. Don't lie. Twenty years ago, a couple months before your wedding, Pasha confessed to me that he wanted to break up with you. He was then concurrently dating another girl from a very wealthy family. He had big views on this marriage. You're lying now. Yeah. And he offered to buy you out for my share of the business. Mm -hmm. So I was a bargaining chip. Yeah, I agreed. I was hoping if he disappeared from your life, I'd have a better chance. Why didn't he marry that girl? Olga's father didn't like him. How do you know all this? 
well, because she later became my wife, actually. I owe my success in business to my father-in-law. We parted after a couple of years, but we remain friends and are still friends. We never had children. Igor? Why did you reappear in my life? I never let you out of my sight. The initiator of the divorce was Olga. She said she didn't want to share me with another woman. I don't believe you. But I did not lose sight of Pasha. I thought about the place, waited for an opportunity, and when I came up with Alena, it was very easy, because Pasha did not miss a single skirt. You're lying. I love you. I've loved you all my life. The truth, and you can believe me. You left me penniless with my husband's child. I work from morning till night in a cab so that we could somehow live. Is that how you love me? Pasha may be an asshole, but you disgust me. Can you be more careful? Hello? Igor, what do you want? I'm not going there anymore. That crazy woman won't give up the baby. You have to give up the baby. <laughs> what else? What's in it for me? If you pay, I'll sign it. Who needs you with a baby? I heard you're doing well there. There's a new daddy, by the way. I know him. You don't want him to know how you throw away babies. All right. What do you want me to sign? Wait for me. I'll be there in a couple hours. Max, can you come in here for a couple minutes? Okay. Okay. Why a couple minutes? I just took a half hour off. No way, Maxim. My God, please, just not now. Let's just not now. I'm begging you. There's so much to do, so much to do. Oh my God, so much that I even forgot about your birthday. But that's okay. This is for you. Why, Lara, I forgot it myself. You want to see it? Cool. It's very expensive. From the latest collection. I like it, thank you. There's a postcard. <laughs> Lara, what's this? It's an award. What did I do to deserve an award? Max, it's a gift. I know what your salary is. Lara, tell me, why do I feel like an Alfonso now? I didn't know you'd react this way. I thought it was normal. What's normal? Taking money for sex. I'm sorry. I think I misunderstood our relationship somehow. Igor, if I had known that you can't give up on a child after the maternity hospital, I wouldn't have gone near it. I wouldn't have even looked at it honestly. I thought you were going to become a mother. 
Look, it wasn't me who wanted the baby. It was Pasha. What am I supposed to do with it now? Huh? How could he not suffocate in your womb from such motherly love? Enough, uh, what's next? We will try to out with the law. You will write a consent to the adoption of your child not by a stranger and the wife of the father of your child. So how are you all decided? The notary is waiting. Young lady, wait, don't rush us. What else? Well, Pashka's not the father of the baby. What? Well, I thought he was the father, but in the maternity hospital they determined by blood that he's not. Who else knows? No one. You, me, and in the hospital. And the father of the child? Igor, I don't know who the father is. So? You don't know anything. Nobody told you anything at the maternity hospital. The father is Pavel. That's it. Go write a consent for adoption. Go ahead. Here you go. Thank you. Andre, she gave me the baby, signed the adoption consent. Igor just asked me for a scan of the document. I'll go to him now to get the original. Then I'm going to Laris's to pick up the baby. When can I adopt him? It will take a long time. Will you help me? Yes. Thank you. Larissa, is he asleep? My sweetie, sleep, Lar. You're like Julius Caesar doing so many things at once. I have good news, Alena signed the papers. So I can adopt you. Can you imagine? Now I'll have a son. I'm really happy for you. Nika, if, if Pasha comes back... Well, if Pasha comes back, then we'll talk. You know, this whole story, the chance meeting in the pool, the sudden affair, a... Hey, Lyona, everything that happened with the company, the debts... It's such a multi-trick by Igor. Oh, come on. Yeah, well, you know what happened between them 20 years ago. Why now? What's the point of all this? Revenge. Just revenge. Larissa, please help me. I want to take him home. My mom misses me. God, there is so much to buy. A nanny, a stroller. Yes, yes, take him. Thank you. Well, God bless you, then. Yes, quiet. I'll bring the rest later. Lara, thank you so much. Bye. Go to sleep, go to sleep. And you didn't tell her? No. And you won't? What business is it of yours? Just because you're sleeping with Pasha doesn't give you any privileges. I didn't call you. You can go. How hard it is for me to be with you, Pavlik, all my life. So you've got it all memorized. Feed, walk, bathe, and if I don't come back, feed again. Yeah, we've got it all figured out. Just go. Yes, yes, I know you're good. I'll try to be quick. I'll just drop off the papers. Hold him carefully. Bye. What happened? Why aren't you in the office? There's a problem. You need the consent of the other spouse. I don't understand. When one spouse adopts a child, the consent of the other spouse is required. 
What am I supposed to do? Wait for Pasha to come forward or wait a year for him to be declared missing? Well, I haven't had a chance to find out yet. You give me the paperwork, I'll take it to an adoption specialist. Maybe there are some loopholes. Thank you. How's the baby? How are the girls taking it? Girls, is that how you refer to Katya's mom? It's all good. Katya even offered her help. Come visit us today. This is your VIP client that you've given up everything else for. And what did that cabbie do? It's someone. Well, first of all, she's not a cab driver. She didn't hit anyone. It's just a girl who got into a bad situation. And you fell in love with her. Fall in love? I didn't even know our Iron Man had a heart. Turns out he does. Cab driver, holy crap. Look, they've already started this adoption thing, but I don't think they have all the paperwork yet. What the hell do we do? What I told you before, and right now we're pulling it. Well, if I go back without him, I'm gonna get killed. They yell and calm down, and you shouldn't have any complaints. You did everything according to the law. Will you look for the address? My phone's dead. Let me look for it. Hold the stroller. You picked the wrong family. This is my territory, so I'm sorry. Mom, Katya, I'm home. Where are you? Nika, I've just boiled some broth, and Katya went for a walk with the baby. I'm really worried. She hasn't been here for a long time. I asked Marta to take Marta for a walk, but she didn't want to. And she didn't answer the phone. When was that? It's been three hours. Doesn't answer me either. Okay, I'll go look for them. Something happened. Maybe the stroller broke down. You keep your phone to yourself. Okay, okay. Excuse me, have you seen a girl with a stroller around here? No, I haven't. Excuse me, have you seen a girl with a stroller around here? She has such colorful hair. What's wrong with your voice? Katya disappeared with the baby. I'll be right there. Where are you? I'm at the corner of our square. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right there. Katya. 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 I'm sorry. She's nowhere to be found. Did you call her boyfriend? No, I didn't think of that. Hello, Artem, this is Veronica, Katia's mom. Do you know where she is? She doesn't know. Hello, I know what you and Katya were going to do and what kind of deal you were going to make. If you want trouble and I can give it to you, tell me where is Katya and where is the baby? When did this happen? What? Here you go. Hello? Hi. Can you talk? Listen, you wanted to borrow my scooter, right? So take it. I'm going away for three months and then it's up to you. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I'll talk to you then. Bye.
Hello, have you seen a girl with a stroller? Maybe she passed by here. She has long hair with purple ribbons. No, I haven't. Excuse me, please. Yes. Did you see a girl passing by? Maybe a guy with her? They were with a stroller. She had hair with purple ribbons. I did. They were hanging around the ward for half an hour. He tried to get her into the emergency room. But she was stubborn and didn't want to. So they had a fight and he left. And then she rocked the baby and left too. Did you see where she went? So how do I know? Maybe to feed or change diapers. Modern mothers are like that. The baby cried, and she cried with him. Thank you. I asked the encore staff. No one came in today. They called the maternity hospital with me. No news either. My phone's dead. My mom's probably terrified she can't get in touch with anyone. Well, then we need to go home to call mom down, charge the phone, then act according to the circumstances. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Mom. Nika, where are you? I've called you a million times. Sorry, my phone's dead. How are you? I'm fine here. A little one. Mom, please forgive me. I didn't want him to be here. I just didn't want another Vitalik. I was so mad that this friend gave him to you and you're happy. I'm so sorry. He's so cute. He's smiling at me. Come here. Of course. You fool. You're confused. You're so happy with him. And next to you too, you're my child. Daddy? Hello, everyone. Maybe you all thought I was dead, but I'm alive. Kechishenka, forgive me. I'm very guilty before you, before mom. But I had no other choice. Yes. And now you have Pasha. Stay where you were. We've all cried for you. Well, Grandma. What, Grandma? Am I supposed to act happy? Why don't you say anything? The man disappeared somewhere there. Made us think that he drowned. But in fact, he left us here to drown. He didn't spare anyone. I recognize my mother-in-law. Lilia Alexandrovna, I didn't expect you to be happy. But Nick... Nick... I see. I can hardly explain. But, huh? I didn't think everything would fall apart like this, and they'd come for the money. You didn't expect that. Uh huh. How did you know? Larissa, I was at her place. Larissa, of course, there's no secret about you she doesn't know. Why are you here? My son is here. My wife, my mother-in-law, my lawyer. Hello, Pavel Sarjevic. You. Uh, you think this is all so funny? Nick, help me. I don't recognize you. I'm really having a hard time. That's enough. There's no truth in feet. Let's go to the room.
Matoka, you're the only one I'm glad to see. Katusha, bring me a stool from the kitchen. Take it yourself. You're not a gentleman. No problem, Andre. It was very unexpected to see you here. We're having a family evening. I don't know something. Nikod. Nikod. We need to talk to you. All right. Let's talk. Well, not here. Not in front of everyone. Pasha, a lot of things have changed lately. Everything has changed. That's why there are no outsiders here. Have a seat. I'll help you. You had a beautiful family, more or less stable business. Some personal life. Obviously, you wanted more and decided to take a risk. Now you have no family, no business. I'm not judging your personal life. You took a chance on us and you lost. Nika, I'm sorry. It's my fault. Please don't do this. We'll just sit down. Have some tea and you'll go home. Igor gave you your apartment back. So you're not homeless now. You can thank him. Igor? What's he got to do with it? Didn't Larissa tell you that? She took pity on you. You lost everything to him. Give me my son and I'll go away. No. You have no right. I don't care. I apologize. There are some legal issues about the child, but Veronika and I will solve them. And it has nothing to do with you. What do you mean it doesn't concern me? I'm the father and anyway, what does that mean me and Veronika? Did she hire you, Nika? Are you paying him? No, nobody hired me. Nobody's paying me, that's not even the point. The point is you can't be the father of this baby. What are you talking about? Andre, where is this information coming from? Oh my God, this is crazy. It's worse than any soap opera. According to your blood type, Pavel Sojevic, You can't be the father of this child. That explains a lot. You can't be the father. So all this time you thought that I was the reason for our failures, right? Of course it's my fault. Everything is my fault and I deserve it. It's not my baby. But it's not yours either. I don't understand whose baby it is. Nika, it's not yours. No. Not to Kadia and me, Andre. I see. Oh. 
He heard a good man. He didn't even have tea. So let's go feed and bathe the child. Katusha, come on, clean up. And I'll pump Valerian. Well, oh my God, Pavlik, why are you silent? What is it? This is not my son. What do you mean it's not yours, God? What are you talking about? Whose son is it then? No, no, Pavlik, they're lying to you. Nika is with that lawyer. They determined they by blood type. They have the discharge from the hospital. The urologist told me at the time that there was no chance. But I thought it was a young woman, young blood. She's a bitch. Jesus, Pavlik. I told you she was a bitch from the beginning, just like all the others before her. And Nika. What about Nika? She won't forgive me. Neither will I. God, Pavlik, how did you fall for all this? Why, after all, everything was fine with you. You wanted young blood, a thrill. Nika is wonderful. She has a soul. That Semyonov of yours. How long he waited, 20 years. How much effort, how much money he spent to get her back. And Semyonov is still to be dealt with. Let's go. So the consent for adoption from the mother. It's certified. Okay, we'll write it down. Excuse me. What do you want? Igor, you offering me a job. You know, I'm really gonna get back into the business, but I'm not gonna work with you. Have a nice day. Excuse me. Business? I'll explain it to you later. Shall we continue? Yes. The boy's name? Bogdan. Bogdan. Father's name? What kind of patronymic? Andrevik. In honor of the godfather to be. Well, I don't agree on the Godfather. I agree only on the present one. I'm serious about Bogdan. About us. Andre, I'm very grateful to you. When we met, I thought you'd crush me. You had such armor. I thought I couldn't get through to you, but then you saved me. You became a real friend. I'm not really talking about friendship. The black streak is over. I'll begin white. Well, Bogdan Chick Little, I'll be taxi driver. After all, free schedule, and then I enrolled in courses. I want to get back into business. After all, I have two children to raise. I'm sorry. I interrupted. I'm just so emotional. Yeah, I'm listening. Veronica. God, I'm an idiot. You don't have to say anything right now. I know you're overwhelmed with so much information. You probably don't need to start a new relationship. You just know that I'll always be there for you. You can trust me. <laughs> 